Another season of PFTOT on Yahoo Sports. Peter King and Mike Florio here with you to talk about the biggest stories percolating in the National Football League. And Peter, one of the biggest stories of the offseason came out of the blue in late June on a Sunday night. Oh my God, Cam Newton to the Patriots. Plenty of questions about what he will be for New England this year. But so far, so good. He's a captain. He's reportedly the starter. Not that hard to win a competition over Jared Stidham and Brian Hoyer if you're Cam Newton, but he's healthy. That's the key. What are your expectations for Newton and Patri- and the Patriots in their first year together? Well, I think obviously it's, it's one of the great mysteries of this year, in my opinion, of the 32 teams in football. I think the Patriots, with their huge questions at linebacker, they lost all four starters, and obviously without Brady, still with an absolutely below par receiving core um you you know i think it's i think it's going to be more a question of can cam newton lift this team around him okay because we saw the patriots last year even with all their faults shot out of the cannon they were eight no and then after halloween they had a worse record than the miami dolphins And really, the offensive weaponry came into play and really ended up hurting them. Poor separation with defensive backs and all that. So right now, I think Cam. the biggest question for Cam Newton, is he going to be the dual threat quarterback that made him such an incredible player three and four and five years ago? And that's going to be the question. Remember, Mike, about 13 months ago, in Spartanburg, South Carolina, I got Cam Newton for 20 minutes, and he talked about changing his style of play as a quarterback, that he was going, he saw what quarterbacks did late in their career to prolong their career. And even though he was only 30 years old, you can't keep taking the beating that Cam Newton took and expect to be playing until you're 38 or 40 years old. So he was on the way to changing. Now my question is, you know, is Josh McDaniels going to give him 80 to 100 rush attempts because he knows that that's the way he's got to play to move the chains? And a mobile, versatile quarterback can make up for a lot of ills in a receiving core. Yeah, and that's something that Josh McDaniels hasn't had in New England with Tom Brady. I'll go back a decade when Josh McDaniels drafted Tim Tebow. He specifically constructed an offense that he never got to use in Denver because he got fired before he had a chance to use it. But the next year when Tebow became the starter, they dusted it off. They used that offense. And it's conducive to keeping the quarterback healthy if the blocking is there. And that's going to be the challenge. Dante Skarnecki have finally gone the offensive line guru for the Patriots. But if they can keep Cam Newton clean, If they can keep him from getting hit, they keep him from getting hurt, and he can be that dual threat, Peter, that makes up for the deficiencies in the passing game. And not only that, Mike, but he needs one of these two rookie tight ends to come in and be a factor early. Because just remember, what is the one thing that you could always take to the bank with the New England Patriots, at least until last year? They were going to throw the ball to the tight end all day. Josh McDaniels loves the intermediate part of the field. And so to me, they need the tight end position to be more productive than it was a year ago. And I'm really, really anxious to see the play calls uh, that Josh McDaniels makes with his new toy. Every team is a work in progress from September until the end of December. They get better or they get worse. They rarely stay the same. And with all the chaos that is happening in the NFL with COVID-19 and the uncertainty and the rules changes and all the opportunities to manipulate the rules, I like for the Patriots to get better, not worse, as the season goes on. And if Cam Newton stays healthy, I think they're going to be a factor when January rolls around. Check us out all season long for more PFT OT videos on Yahoo Sports. He's Peter King. I'm Mike Florio. We'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.